Shadow play part two. So last thingy was part one. This is part two. <laughs> First part was pretty boring, not very interesting. I mean, not painful or that bad, but just like mostly set up. It had a few interesting moments, I guess. It's like bringing back all these other moments they talked about throughout the season. I think it would have been a lot more interesting if it was like clear that there was going to be episodes that was like, that was like, okay, these episodes are going to be significant to the finale. Like uh, with, I think it was season four. I mean, I didn't figure it out on my own. Or was that season five? I don't remember. The one with the magical items that turn into keys. I think that was season four. I really don't remember. But that one, it was like, like each of those items was very explicitly shown, like, like, oh, hey, this item is important. So at least there was that. I mean, I didn't figure it out on my own, but like, there was at least that. Those that put this, there was like no reason to think any of those stories had any further significance beyond just the episode existing. Like, like I'm thinking, like in Gravity Falls, I guess that's one reason why, like when you see the journal, it's like, okay, the journal is important. They clear, It's clearly like that. And then you have Gideon with journal two, and it's like, okay, Gideon knows something that other people don't, and Stan knows something, and, you know, there's all these things building up, and it's like, why all these inventions, or, or all these, like, mysterious things are in the journals, and they're gonna come back, it's like, I don't know, it feels a lot more clear at that, whereas here, it's like, I don't know why any of those stories would have had any significance. Anyways, I have no idea exactly how this is gonna end, I mean, I'm thinking, I guess I do sort of know, I mean, I, I'm thinking it's gonna be the bearded, sort of spurtled guy is just gonna have to, to sacrifice himself again, along with the other five characters, to get rid of the evil guy so that's what i'm guessing oh yeah also for some reason that ending scene with like the flashback where it was like of when they were defeating the the evil guy for some reason that just made me think of that scene that cut scene in skyrim where you watch alduin get defeated by the ancient nord people or whatever i don't know why it just like reminded me of that oh you hear that music this is gonna be an intense one <laughs> evil man <laughs> And then there's just the fucking, oh my god. This evil guy like, I am the evil man, I will destroy the world. <laughs> and then you got this fucking shit. Like, little pony. <laughs> god. I just noticed the fucking snail guy, the yellow guy, he has like a face that says, I have like a stick shoved up my ass and I can't figure out how to get it out. What the fuck? So they don't know how to bring them back to limbo. There goes the book. And all the items and all the magical shit. So what's this asshole want to do? He just wants to kill everyone. Uh, she's he's too weak. That's why Twilight can beat him. Uh huh. He's she's not alone. Who the fuck is this guy? He just wants to kill everything. Uh, more funny joke about past thing. He 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 he. So I guess he turned this map again. It's about the tree. Oh, this the castle is from the tree. The little seed they planted. Honesty. 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 What the f she just completely stuffed her head straight in her ass. What the fuck is this game? This, this is not a game. Oh, this is not a game. Why did I just say it's a game? Okay, so these six assholes in the past are connected to the six main characters. What do you mean this? Didn't they already get rid of the elements? Or no, they just put them on the tree so they can't use them. So they have to get rid of all the elements of harmony. And that's the conflict. Books. Well, they found a way to do it so they can get rid of the elements to get rid of the, the evil smoke guy. And I guess Glimmer's idea is to convince the evil guy to not be evil. What? Just go into all these places to find where the... The smoke guy is. Ooh, he just said half big spell. <laughs> Ooh, shit. I don't know. Still getting kind of bored. But of course, there's the map saying this is where the villain is. He complimented Twilight. Now oh, she's excited. Once a villain, always a villain. So I guess is that. Are they really just gonna convince the evil guy to not be evil? <sighs> I feel fucking exhausted right now, just from sitting here watching this. Wait, what? They knew the asshole before he became evil? So he was just a normal guy and then they became evil? Oh, there's those villains. That's like singing people from the one of Christa girls thing. Me, this asshole. What? He took items from them and then that's why he's evil? What? But of course, they don't know for sure why he took the artifacts. Ugh. This is just so boring. This is just gonna be, okay, we can't, can't make friends with this guy, he's too evil. But then they're gonna be like, actually, no, we can make it not evil. <sighs> there goes the element, and now they're wearing them again. I haven't done that in a while. <sighs> Well, I guess we're finally gonna do something after like 30 minutes of mostly boring shit. Oh, he's so evil. 
I don't even know what this guy wants. He just wants to like kill everything. Okay, that's his that's his thing. He just wants them all to he wants everything in the shadows so that he wants everyone to feel how he does. So Twilight needs to say, Hey, let's just be friends. But of course Twilight's not using her magic and so so that's uh that's the thing. So now she flies in and is gonna get the the good guy. Oh, I guess now they're they're hearing what he's saying. It's just another story of hey, this guy is evil. No, he's not evil. You can just just gotta listen and talk. I mean, it's kind of just the same story again. Pull him out and uh, it's all good now. Don't revenge, do friendship. It's an obvious analogy for someone who wants to change but can't because they need someone's help. So I guess they did it. Oh man. I'm just thinking about how draining this has been for just 40 minutes and then the fucking, the fucking movie is gonna be a hundred minutes. God, that's gonna be so painful. It's the magic of friendship. He never accounted for that. So I guess now all these six assholes are gonna be side characters. Okay, yeah, they're all just gonna go back to their homes. Yep, and they'll just be relevant to some episodes, I guess. So I don't get why some of these characters live for like thousands of years. I guess it's just just magic. Like that's why. Just because magic. God, there's another seven characters. I mean, they're not gonna be main characters. Oh, uh, Twilight hugged her twin. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't entertained at all. I mean, there was no point where I was like either laughing or like shocked or really surprised. I mean, I saw the ending coming from the start of the episode. So picking right back off from the last one, it's how do we get rid of this evil guy? And then they're like, oh, we gotta banish him. But then Glimmer's like, now nah, we can talk to him. And then the other's like, now nah, we gotta banish him. And then Glimmer's like, now nah, we gotta talk to them. And then that happens like four times or whatever while they're preparing for banishing him. And then they almost banish him. Twilight, who didn't think they thought they'd have to banish them, she... <sighs> She sees the, the good guy because, uh, yeah, good guy, and then she's like, hey, don't be evil, be good. And he's like, yeah, I, I should be good, and then he's good. And then the, then they get banished and, uh, they're all happy. Or just the evil part of him gets destroyed and then, then they're all happy. I mean, really, they've done this story in this show so many times. I mean, it's basically Glimmer's story, it's basically Nightmare Moon's story, I guess Tyrix. Tarek was just defeated, wasn't he? It's basically Discord's story. Like, after he got- Like, he was initially just turned back into stone, but then he was, uh, turned back into something else. It's just- The villain says, I'm too evil. No one can defeat me. Then they're like, yeah, but we can't defeat you, but do you really want to be evil? And then he's like, wow, I never thought about it that way. Maybe I won't be evil. Yay, we're all happy now. That's kind of what this is. I mean, I guess it's in somewhat interesting to see, like, Star Swirl. So there's that, I guess. Because it's like he's been mentioned so many times. Of course, there's a bunch of moments where Twilight it's like fangirling over him. There's a few pieces of animation that looked a little bit more interesting, but I mean, kind of just underwhelming, honestly. I don't even know what I'm looking for, though. Like, like what what changes would have to be made for this to be entertaining or emotional or like have weight? I really don't know. But I certainly was not entertained. It did get boring at a few points. Not gonna lie, I genuinely feel exhausted right now. When I watch something I like, I'm always just, like giddy and like excited at the end of it. This I just feel so. Tired. Tired. Ugh. So, I give this five and a half out of ten, I guess? Because, I mean, it's still trying more than just, like, the bare minimum I'd expect from a kid's show. And it still had those elements for a kid's show, but, like, just so, so nothing, really. Nothing to get out of it for me. <sighs> so, yeah, so next up is all the Equestria Girl stuff. I already have the order for stuff. I, I guess I'll have to figure out how long it is or what stuff is linked together to determine what I'll put in different videos, but I'll just have to see. Then the movie and then season eight, but that'll be a while from now probably. Fucking hell, I feel tired.